At last month's Nexus event, Google unveiled their two newest Nexus phones, the 5X and the 6P. Of the two, the 5X was billed as the affordable model with specs that are perfectly acceptable, but not blowing any minds. But it's the insides that count, right? So today we got our hands on the 5X to see just what the insides offer. Let's tear it down. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today we're tearing down Google's brand new Nexus 5X. The Nexus 5X measures in at 147 millimeters by 72.6 millimeters and just 7.9 millimeters thin, a little more than half a millimeter thicker than the iPhone 6S. The Nexus 5X has a 5.2 inch full HD IPS LCD with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and weighs in at 136 grams. Before we open the 5X, we noticed its nifty USB-C port. Unfortunately, like the OnePlus 2, the Nexus 5X's USB-C port only supports USB 2.0 transfer speeds, a major bummer. When we went to open this bad boy, we realized that there are no screws. This back panel is held in place with clips. With the rear case removed, we get our first look inside the Nexus 5X. The first thing we notice is the 2700 milliamp hour battery, raising our hope for the first user replaceable battery we've seen in ages. But unfortunately, it wasn't to be. The connector for the battery is hidden beneath the midframe and totally inaccessible for the time being. Speaking of the midframe, there are a total of 10 Phillips screws holding it in place. Coming along with the midframe is the Nexus imprint fingerprint reader. Google claims the imprint can recognize a fingerprint in just 600 milliseconds. There is some light adhesive holding the battery in place, but it's nothing our spudgers can't handle. Our eye openers can remain cool for the time being. This is a 3.8 volt, 2,700 milliamp hour battery. Next out, the rear camera. This 12.3 megapixel Sony camera has an aperture of f2.0 and boasts a pixel size of 1.55 micrometers. Unlike previous versions, this camera doesn't feature optical image stabilization, but the Nexus team says the increased pixel size combined with electronic image stabilization should remove any jitter. Now it's the motherboard's turn to be freed. On the board, you'll find the Qualcomm Snapdragon 808 with two gigabytes of Samsung-made LP DDR3 RAM underneath, You'll also find the 16 gigabytes of Toshiba-made eMMC 5.0 flash memory, the Qualcomm LTE transceiver, and many others. If you'd like to see the full list of chips we've identified, head on over to the teardown at ifixit.com. We've come to the end of our teardown, which means it's time to talk repairability. At iFixit, it's our mission to teach people how to repair everything. So we give every gadget we tear down a repairability score between one and 10. 10 being the easiest to repair and one being the most difficult. The Nexus 5X got a seven out of 10, and here's why. Many components are modular and can be replaced independently. Standard Phillips screws means a driver is easy to find. The battery isn't immediately user accessible, but it isn't too challenging or too adhered to replace. And finally, the display assembly is fused. The glass and LCD will need to be replaced together if one or the other breaks. And that's our teardown. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful, high quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.